what's going on? This is Stephen C. Raphael, the OMAD man. OMAD means eating one, uh, one meal a day, OMAD. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about the basics of OMAD. I just play, if you've never seen me before, I do little songs just to kind of fill in stuff. And um, if you don't believe I am the OMAD man, I live on the planet of Omadi. I've got the cup to prove it. And uh, let's see, I would, this is what I used to look like. So don't, you know, don't take anybody's advice unless they've already been to the mountain of fatness. And uh, that was me, and uh, this is me now. So uh, there's my coffee there. I didn't even, okay. So what you wanna do is one time a day, pick a time, pick a time. It's gotta be every day, cause you gotta train your body. I see this kind of stuff every single day. Here's me with the pretty girls, actually my daughter. Look how big I am and fat. I was 200 pounds, but now I am down. Here's the Omad Man cup, look at that. Oh my God, it's the Omad Man, I like you. Okay, now don't tell anyone you're doing this. I told someone once I would tried Adkins. I tried Adkins, it didn't last, I couldn't poo. Okay, now um, if you tell someone you're doing Adkins, what do they say, you're eating meats and cheese, you're gonna clog your arteries, which I didn't had a heart attack. What if you tell someone you're doing Weight Watchers? That's really good, how much does that cost? Then you gotta sit around with a bunch of um, heavy set ladies that complain. I, I went there for years and none of them lost weight. I, went, I mean, I went there for like a month and then I came back six years. Now, uh, listen to this. Um, here's my, what is it, Plato or one of those, uh, not Plato, but some guy was thinking on a rock. So I guess this was me at the zoo. Look at my gut. Can you even believe it? Okay. Bad habits die hard. Once, um, there's the girl Carolyn, she's, uh, she's on day 10 today. Congratulations. She's on day 10. And uh, she says she's the best she's ever felt. She's not depressed. And uh, you know, depression ruins your whole life. You start thinking about what people say. She sent me a quote that said, what you think of me is none of my business. And, and you know the thing about it is, you know, she's scared of social media. Let me tell you something. Nobody cares about them, about everybody cares about like their iPhone and all that kind of stuff. You know, and uh, I would have just liked to say, um, I went to the doctor the other day. Well, not the other day, like uh, in the beginning of the year when I was about 200 pounds and I felt like this. And this lady, uh, my doctor from Iran, uh, let's call her Dr. D. And she said, how are you feeling? <laughs> And I went, um, how, am I, how am I feeling? I weighed 200 pounds and I just had a heart attack and uh, my wife brings me like two blocks of cheese every day. And um, I said, is this a joke? Where are the cameras? Are, are you serious? How do you think I'm feeling? I feel absolutely terrible. I gotta do a song real quick. Hold on a second. I was a fat, fat man. I was a fat, fat man. Chomping and chomping and eating all day. I was eating my feelings away. Okay. Okay, I'm getting way too hot in this. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now, um, basically, I want to tell you, she, uh, she should have said, you know, she should have said to me, uh, Stephen, let me introduce you to someone because I don't think I'm helping. You know, I went to her for probably about 10 years and I was like 200 pounds, 195, 180, 190. And she just said, well, take this. This is called, uh, she gave me some uh, metformin. She, I, I had diabetes type two, all this kind of stuff. Nothing ever seemed to help. And uh, she should have just said, let me introduce you to someone in and he, he should just say, dude, lose some weight. You know, your everything, the thing about OMAD is it's gonna fix your skin. You're gonna save some money. You're gonna save some time. It's gonna cure your digestion. It's gonna cure your immunity. It's gonna get you into autophagy. Autophagy, autophagy, autophagy. Autophagy is you either, your body either burns sugar or it burns fat. So have it burn fat, okay? What do you think about that? Okay, the other doctor is the only doctor that ever did anything, and uh, let's see. Um, I never rehearse songs I play for you. I love singing songs. What can I do? Um, OMAD is the diet for me. Okay, let's see, you can tell I got a lot of energy. Okay, now there's just one doctor that ever did anything for me, but, he, but I didn't listen to him. I was uh, in the uh, office there and uh, 
I said, doctor, I can't breathe. You know, I was 200 pounds and this is what I look like. And look at my stomach. You know, I'm 5'5". I'm 200 pounds is a lot of weight. I had extra face. It's called faceation or balloonation. And uh, here's this guy standing in the hallway, you know, doing a golf swing. I'm, you know, these little rooms I was in for 45 minutes before I showed up. And the, the pharmaceutical companies who they want you to take their pill, keep them down, pill, whatever it is, or a Kataka 7 lids, a Visine, 60 milligrams. They came in and they bring catered lunch. They can't give money because there was an amendment or something. So they give these big catered lunches. And he's standing there. He's 45 years old, been to medical school, great car, great plywood play, plays golf. He was sitting there and he's talking about his swing to somebody. And I'm like, okay, I'm the fat depressed one. Please help me. And he looked over at me and just said, is it, oh, I said, I can't breathe. And he looked at me, I'll be there a minute. He goes, oh, well, you, you can't breathe because you're big, giant stomach is sitting on your diaphragm. And, uh, you know, so you you know, but he just assumed I wasn't going to lose weight. He was right. I didn't lose weight. That's what I needed to listen to. I heard it, but I wasn't listening. And, uh, you know, I would like to say food is fuel. Food is fuel. Food is nothing but fuel. If you're eating too much food, Food is fuel. Food is fuel. Food is fuel. Food is fuel. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something. You know what time it is right now, my brothers? It is Zen Master Omad Man time. I don't know if I'm going to call it Zen Master Stephen time or Zen Master Omad Man. Okay, I've written uh, 20 proverbs or 22 proverbs about weight loss. Uh, let me uh, take a little coffee here. I love coffee. I love tea. I love the Java Java and it mugs me. Coffee and tea. Java and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. Okay, now um, I would like to say this. Some p Here it is. The... Uh I've tried dieting 500 times, and I failed 499 times. I've tried dieting 500 times, but I've failed 499 times. You know why? There, one, if you could do any math at all, my brothers, can I get an amen? The, oh, how the wind in some Axel Rose voice there. Yeah, I get up around seven. Okay, one thing. You know what that one, that 499, there's one missing. You know what it is? OMAD is the diet for me. It's a lifestyle. OMAD. Raise your flag and let people know. OMAD, OMAD, OMAD. OMAD is the diet for me. You know, I'm serious. I'm going to do the show every day. And I'm not for everybody. There's other OMED guys out there. But uh, I'm, uh, I, I just, I'm having a lot of fun. I have so much energy. I was dead. I was dead for six months and never missed a day of work. Okay, and, okay, and people are saying, hey, this ain't working for me, you know? Well, you got to give it at least six weeks. Don't try it two or three days until you can go through the hunger. First week's murder. It's awful, you know? But... But, you know, Carolyn, for instance, she, she, after the third or fourth day, she goes, my stomach is thinner. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. Most of your problems is because people is because they're depressed because they're fat. You know, we're going to go into the tuck shirt uh, thing in a minute here. I got to go a little bit faster because it's been nine minutes. Uh, give it six weeks. Okay. I would like to say this. If you go to the doctor and he says, hey, you got cancer and the patient says, that's rude. Or if the, if the doctor says, hey, you got polio and you go, that's rude. And if he goes, hey, you know, you, uh, you got gangrene in your toe, we're going to have to cut that off. And you wouldn't say that's rude to any of these. But he can't say, hey, you're fat. He'll just give you some medicine or something. You know, when you see me, I'm hyper and I'm sitting here and I'm going for a G-Arpeggio. You know, and let me show you something real quick. Watch. You're saying, whoa, that's good. All it is is three notes. Same three notes. I just do it fast. Okay, it's now it's less than mystery. Look at the same three notes. 
and I just, uh, you know, uh, and it looks all, you know, all this, you know, crazy. And uh, so what I'm saying is it, 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 it could be explained. It's very, very easy. But sometimes you need a guy in a white coat. So actually, I'm going to bring a doctor onto the set today. Hold on one second. Yeah, you can come in. Okay. Uh, just use the, uh, yeah, okay. Hello, I am Dr. Halseva Rabinowitz. I would like to say that uh, your acosogy with your Holland and your arteries that have a little bit of deposits of somolsis and saliblane, they are mostly clogging up the arteries of fallen. And your sepilon and your crotidine and going into the different millenniums of sovins. So, so this, thank you, doctor. Okay, that's how, you know, you'll listen to a doctor because he has a white coat on. Let me tell you one thing. It's a lot easier to do it. Just say, here's a gyropendra. You know what? It's a lot easier just to say, hey, you're fat or you're overweight. You know, you know, if you have the sexual fat, the, the fluorescent yellow in front of your intestines, um, you know, it's, it's making your, inte your intestines and all that stuff in your, your heart and your lungs not work as good. Your, your mind is going to go way slower. That's the only reason I could talk this fast. I was stuttering before. Now, um... Stephen, why you don't eat so much? My Jewish grandma did this little song. Why don't you eat your food I made for you? I will, Grandma, but it's so fattening. I'll just bring it home. If your grandma gives you food at 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock and your feeding time's 5 o'clock, say thank you. But I'll eat it. I'll take it home and eat it at 5 o'clock unless you want to come over. Okay? Now, you can have 700 calories a day for a while. You're going to be fine. Now, I just wanted to say, um, you know, one thing. You're gonna be hungry. Eat. I've even lost weight in my feet. I can almost put my whole my, my foot in my mouth. Okay, let's see. I just want to say healthy leads to serenity. Healthy leads to serenity. Okay, and um, subscribe and all that stuff. I'll be here every single day, and I'll have a lot of good stuff on um, things to say. And... Um, Remember, food, food, food is fuel, it's not a recreation. Going back to OMAD, OMAD is the diet for me. It's a lifestyle. OMAD, part of my musical. Okay, let's see, we're getting into 13 minutes here now. Um, go um, down this URL, click on it, and join the Stephen Sir Raphael fan club. I only got about 63 members because I really don't know what to talk about. It. But then you could send me a picture of something, you know, so I could see what some of the subscribers look like or before and after pictures so I could talk about it. Or um, just join, so I, I post stuff of me playing places and talking all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of fun. Now remember, hunger equals weight loss. Hunger equals weight loss. Protein, carbs, and fats, oh my. Protein, carbs, and fats, oh my. Protein, carbs, and fats, oh my. Protein, carbs, and fats. Protein, carbs, and fats. Protein, carbs, and fat. Protein, carbs, and fat. On your plate, you got to have a little protein, you know, meat, peanut butter, nuts, cheese, whatever. Protein, carbs, or nuts, uh, carbs. I have a little bit of boneless, breastless, skinless chicken. I have a, and then a salad, and a little bit of salad dressing for some fat. I just wanted to say thank you for watching the Stephen C. Raphael show, and uh, goodbye, everybody. Oh, man, man's got to go. And thank you, Dr. Rabinowitz, essentially. Got to leave you. Thank you for watching my show. Okay, I know it's a little crazy. Remember, healthy leads to serenity. Um, S E R S E R E I T. I can't spell. You know it, but I like you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Like and subscribe. I need five hundred subscribers. Okay. Thank you. Bye. I like you.